Hello family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being a part of Newman Gulf Wood International Ministries. My name is Minister Glenn AJ Ihoje. Today I have a word for somebody. I'm hoping this word will be a blessing for someone. I found these scriptures in God's word and I needed to come here to encourage somebody. Okay, as you can see from the title, it is a prophetic word and it says change of plans change of plans god is reconsidering you hallelujah before i go any further i want to say thank you if you are new to the channel thank you for clicking on this video it shows that you are in need of a word from the lord and that you are waiting on the lord for something amen welcome and please subscribe to the channel so that you don't get to miss any of the videos here on this channel in this ministry thank you to all of our returning subscribers i pray for every single one of you for god's blessings for his mercies and his goodness to overflow in your life in jesus christ's name praise god so i'm going to say a short prayer before we get into this word today hallelujah heavenly father thank you lord for this day for this hour we bless your holy name as we gather as a family to receive from your word, O oh Lord, we pray that this word will become flesh in the lives of those that are waiting upon the promise that you've placed on their lives, Lord. And I pray that the ears and the eyes of every listener here, Lord, will be open to see what you're saying and to hear what you're saying through your precious Holy Spirit in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that this word will stir up the hope of people today and will bring alive their faith for those that, that are about to give up lord let this word be a reassurance and a confirmation for your beloved children it is in your name we pray lord jesus amen and amen hallelujah praise god i'm going to read from the book of joel chapter 2 verse 12 to uh, 14 and then i'll read the other scripture as well which is also from the same book as well praise god and that says but even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, crying, and mourning. Tear your hearts, not your clothes. Return to the Lord your God. He is merciful and compassionate, patient, and always ready to forgive and to change his plans concerning disaster. Who knows? He may, rec he may reconsider and change his plans and leave a blessing for you. Then you could give grain offerings and wine offerings to the Lord. Now, Joel 2 verse 17 to 19 says this. Let the priest who minister before the Lord weep between the portico and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, Lord. And I'm saying that right now. Spare your people, Lord. I pray over every single one of you right now that the Lord God Almighty El Shaddai, that he will spare you today, that he, that he will have mercy on you today, that he will open the windows of heaven upon somebody here today, a child of God, and pour down a blessing that there will be overflow of God's mercies and goodness in your life over the next couple of days that you will begin to see the Holy Spirit move in your life. Your life may not have been perfect. You may have doubted the Lord once or twice. You may have had unbelief. You may have gone off to do what pleases you. You may have given up on that promise for a moment, but the Lord is saying, return to him and end he's going to change his mind that he can change his mind that that he will change his plans that he can change his plans for you his plans for you have always been good they have never been evil amen or if you are here and you've been living in sin and god is calling out to you saying return to me there is a change of plans. There will be a change of plans if you just return to me, if you surrender to me, if you trust in me, if you choose to live for me and believe the words I've spoken over you. If you return to me, there will be a change of plans. Hallelujah. For many of us, it is our unbelief that is preventing the Lord from moving in a specific situation. Return to the Lord. Give him your unbelief. Give him your pain, your sorrow, your doubt, your worries. And there will be a change of plans. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, do not make your inheritance an object of scorn. I pray that God will not make any of you an object 
of scorn because you are the inheritance of the Lord. A byword among the nations you will not be in Jesus' name. Why should they say among the people, where is their God? How many of you have been put through some certain kind of situation, some certain kind of shame and dishonor amongst your family or your friends where you've spoken to them saying, God is going to do this for me or do that for me. Or you've spoken about, you know, God, God, God and his power and they've just been looking at you like, wow, look at your life. But where is your God? The Lord's answer is this. Verse 18, let's, let's continue. Then the Lord was jealous for his land and took pity on his people. I pray for you all today that God will have pity upon you. That he will step in. That he will step in to your dry place and cause rivers to overflow. Rivers of living water will overflow in your dry land in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That God will cause rivers to overflow in your dry land and, and, and in every kind of desert-like situation. That's my prayer for you today. That he will bring you out of the wilderness that you are and that he will pour down a blessing upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That he will heal you from every sickness and every disease in Jesus' name. That he will open doors that nobody can shut in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of his Holy Spirit. And he goes on to say, The Lord replied to them, I am sending you grain, new wine and olive oil, enough to satisfy you fully. Never again will I make you an object of scorn to the nations let's have a look at Joel 2 verse 26 to 27 you will have plenty to eat and you will be full you will praise the name of the Lord your God who has performed miracles for you my people will never be ashamed again you will know that I am in Israel I am the Lord your God and there is no other my people will never be ashamed again Hallelujah. Praise God. I was spending time in the presence of the Lord and I asked the Holy Spirit where he wanted me to meditate on. And that was how this word came about. I was instantly led to the book of Joel. And that's the inspiration be behind this um, prophetic word. This word is for the people of God that have suffered some form of shame and been mocked by family or friends. This one is also for those that have um, that have shifted in their faith because of long delays of waiting upon a word God spoke over your life. Yes. There is a spin to your story. I've come here today to tell you that there is a spin to your story. There is a spin to your story. There is a change of plans. There is a spin... Excuse me. There is a spin to your story that will cause people to be in awe and draw them near to God even. There is a spin in your story. There's going to be such a big spin to your story that will cause people to be in awe. And this is going to draw multitudes to Christ through you and what God is going to do in your life in the next couple of weeks. You thought your story was going to end the way it currently looks. Many of you actually feel like your current situation, wow, God, I can't see you moving. I can't see any changes. I don't know what's happening. I've been waiting for so long. Many of you actually feel like where you've been, you feel like that's all that there is, that God is not going to come through for you and that your life is over. But the Lord is saying to you, if you just turn to him completely and surrender your heart to him, there will be a change of plans. Hallelujah. There will be a change of plans. It is not over until the Lord God says to you, it is done, it is finished. And he gives to you what he has promised over you. Hallelujah. I prophesy over somebody here today in the name of Jesus Christ and by the mantle that the Lord God has placed upon my life to bring you hope, healing, and restoration. I decree and I declare that there is a change of plans for somebody here today.
that what you thought was your ending, that what you thought was God's best for you, God is about to do a complete 360, like he's going to spin everything around for you in Jesus' name. Have faith in this word of God for your life. Let your cry go out to God as you wait on him. Cry out for speedy judgment upon your enemies and for vindication from the Lord. For many of us, God is waiting for your cry of deliverance from that shameful and hopeless situation. Then he steps in. For some of us, we've been crying out to the Lord for deliverance and he has heard that cry. But there's still some that are left that need to keep calling out and drawing onto him. Nearer and nearer. But you may say, why do we have to cry out to God for help before he steps in? In God's word, he says that when the righteous cry out to him, that he hears their cry. Hallelujah. How desperate are you? How eager are you for what the Lord wants to give to you? It is not worth it for you to give up and, and, and surrender and throw everything away that you've worked for. It is not worth it to give the enemy another chance after he got one in the Garden of Eden. Then you want to surrender and give in again the second time. No. No. Cry out to God. Cry out to God. Ask him to deliver you. He will. You're a soldier of Christ. The Lord calls you a soldier in his word. Being a believer takes a fight. So sometimes we have to cry out to God. And that's our fighting. That's our warfare. Hallelujah. So be encouraged and continue to fight the good fight of faith. I prophesy over you today, over every single one of you, there is a change of plans in your situation. What you thought was over, the Lord is about to show you that he's not done. That he's going to cause a change to take place. I decree and declare that there will be divine breakthrough, supernatural breakthrough, manifestation of promises over every single one of you here today in Jesus' name. Whatever you are believing the Lord for, he's going to bring it into manifestation if you return to him, if you repent with your whole heart, if you do not quit, if you do not give up, if you just go on about his business. God will always, 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 always give to you what you desire. If you deliver light in the Lord, he will give you your heart's desires. It may not come immediately like that, but trust in God. Trust in God that at the appointed time, his appointed time, everything will come into light. Hallelujah. Praise God. God loves you all. Continue to fight and remain in faith in Jesus Christ name hallelujah for anyone that needs a one-on-one -on -one with myself mentoring coaching whatsoever somebody to talk to please go to newmongofferwithguide.com and there are so many sessions that are available for you all to select from sessions on marriage for single parents uh, there's a spiritual empowerment classes that that's going to be starting very very soon sessions on getting help with your mind um uh, divorce and so many other uh, things prophetic uh, prayer sessions as well they're all there hallelujah praise god i want to ask if anyone hasn't given their lives to jesus can you please say this prayer with me or make this a prayer of rededication unto the lord hallelujah say with me oh lord god i come to you today jesus i believe that you died for me and i believe that you were raised up on the third day have mercy on me, heal me, raise me up, and bless me, Lord. I receive the grace and the strength to live a life of holiness and purity and sanctification unto you. Thank you, Lord, for the release of your promises in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So see you all in the next one. Please subscribe if you're new. God bless you all.